This week we're going to be talking about millennials. Now, to any of you that don't know, millennials are the gayest generation in history. Huh. And they're accused of being entitled and narcissistic, narcissistic. self-interested, lazy, unfocused. But entitled is the big one. You must have seen this video. The patronizing Simon Sinek telling us everything that's wrong with our generation. It's as if they're standing at the foot of a mountain and they have this abstract concept called impact that they want to have in the world, which is the summit. What they don't see is the mountain. How many times you churn that one out? It's as if an entire generation is standing at the foot of a mountain. So Simon is a motivational speaker, right? Who says things like this. People put Harley Davidson logos on their body to say something about who they are. Corporate logo. Ooh, oh, I've got a clover in my phone. I'm so important. No, what you're doing there is you're, you're drinking an advert, aren't you? Hey, shithead. Anyway, this video came out ages ago, right? But then I saw this in the news the other week and it just brought the whole thing back up again. In 2001, typical pensioner households were 70 pounds a week worse off than typical working age ones. Now they are 20 pounds a week better off. What? Pensioners have a bigger weekly income than working age people. And just look at them. They're loving it. Yes, us millennials might be an oversensitive, phone obsessed group of gender fluid narcissists who don't turn up to vote because Russell Brand tells us not to. Yeah, no, I don't vote. But what about the baby boomers? Sure, they all got touched up by priests or Jimmy Savile. But then they got their university paid for and waltzed into jobs when there was actually industry in this country, retiring on final salary pensions in their 50s. My housemate's granddad retired from the police force at 49. <laughs> you know who's sucking the NHS pot dry? Old people. You know who's getting winter fuel payments every year regardless of how wealthy they are? Old people. And you know who's lecturing us about how shit we millennials are whilst continually embarrassing themselves with their lack of understanding of modern social norms? Where to buy chicken casserole supplies? Dad, this is Facebook, not Google. Where to buy chicken casserole supplies? Dad, no. Where to buy supplies for chicken casserole? Oh, you can do a selfie. You guessed it. Old people. Just look at how Simon Sinek uses Messenger. You know, we've all had it where you're feeling a little bit down or feeling a bit lonely. And so you send out 10 texts to 10 friends, you know, hi, 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 hi. Who does that? Hi. Super hands, anything on baby boomers? They're all a bunch of marks, aren't they? Sitting behind their big marble desks, ties done up to 11, clicking their fingers to the fucking lighthouse family. Couldn't have put it better. Getting their dicks sucked by a big Alsatian dog. Yeah, yeah, okay. They're all perverts, mate. Look, if we want to have false teeth or the Dewey Decimal System explained to us, we'll come to you old folks. But the world's different now. And I'm gonna say that we understand it better than you guys. Hi, hi, hi. But for now, I'm gonna be Facebook live streaming from a safe space all afternoon. Keep it lit, millennials. And old folks, you can take your grandparents out to brunch, but with one punch, we can knock your grandparents out. It's a serious matter.